Hey guys, welcome back to Down Under. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing slash setup video on the Huawei 4G um, router. And this is the model number is B525. And this is an LTE modem and we're going to test this with Optus and see what sort of speeds we can get. And let's get into the video. A 4G um, router. Now, basically this, you can have this connect to Optus, Telstra, it's an unlocked. You can get this on eBay for pretty cheap, $59 I got this one for. It did ship from China, but apparently it has an Australian plug. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, plus it has LTE, CAT um, 6, which is really good quality. You got Wi-Fi um, 2.4 and, and um, 5G, which is even better. We'll have a look at the back, what we get. Obviously you get your internet right here. You can actually connect a phone if your mobile provider supports that. So depending on where you're getting the 4G um, service from, um, I'll talk a bit about that in a minute. Uh, you can connect up to apparently 64 users. That's uh, pretty amazing. So we'll open that in a minute. Now, first thing I'm gonna talk about, you can get this with maybe um, Optus. Now you can get a similar modem like this with um, Vivid Wireless. Now, why I would not recommend this? Now you can buy the modem. The modem's like identical. Just don't use the Vivid Wireless SIM card. Now the problem with using that, then speed is limited to 15 to one megabit per second. For example, if you just sign up to Optus with the home uh, the mobile broadband and put that in, you'll get up to 30 megabits per second, even higher depending on where you put it. If you sign up with Vivid Wireless, you're gonna be limited to 15 megabits no matter where you put it. Now I've had experience with Vivid Wireless and it was so slow, I actually had to take it back. And we got 0.2 megabits per second and zero upload speed. So we're gonna unbox it, have a look at that. I just wanted to update you guys. Now you can get this exact modem through Spintel as well, but they offer the same thing. The max speed is gonna be 15 megabytes, megabits per second. So honestly, maybe go prepaid, go mobile broadband. I know Optus is a really good mobile broadband. I think it's 200 gigabytes of data with, and it's only $89. If you're wanting to use a large amount of data instead of having like MBN set up to your house. But for this video, we're just going to do a setup and I'm just going to put a prepaid SIM in and then we're going to test out, um, show it all set up. So we'll do an unboxing and setup video for this one. So first up, you get like an instruction quick start um, guide right here. And we'll just open that up and see what we get. Okay. Oh, so it's telling you where to insert the SIM. Your SSID, you can scan it, and you can put antennas, but we don't actually have antennas, I don't think. We'll have a look in the box. So first up, we'll get the router out. So just slide the plastic off like this. And you've got a power and a WPS button. And behind it is your four ports here. You can put a telephone line, and you can put a USB in there. And in here, obviously, you're going to have your antennas, and we'll pull that out in a minute. Over here, you've got a yellow um, internet port, as well as you've got a power. So now you do not get those antennas, so that could limit this a bit. Not sure how much it's going to limit it, but it could mean um, it could be pretty slow, because you're meant to have these antennas. Actually, they're not showing there. Let me just show you on the book. See, so these antennas make you get good speeds. Without it, the antennas are up here and they don't really give you the best. See, right here, you can plug antennas in, like that. So, that's that. And we'll just slide this out. And that's where you can put your antennas in. You can also put a big antenna, which uh, you can get off Wish or something for a couple of bucks and put that on your roof and you'll get um, pretty good speed, especially if you're gonna go with an Optus or a Telstra SIM. Um, I wouldn't recommend Telstra because they don't offer large amounts of data. Um, only Optus does. You can even go with, um, for a cheap way, you can go with um, a Maysim. The great thing with a Maysim, you can get a pack, 100 gigs of data no limits, no, it won't go slow. And then when you've reached 100 gigs, it will just stop working. Now you can up your data for a $1, not $1, $10 per um, one gig. 
which you can do that. And if you've gone over, it will not charge you. It will just stop the service, which is even better. And it's um, $70. Now this will tell you the signal strength of your, um, pretty sure that will be your signal strength. We'll have to have a look when we boot it up. That'll be your Wi-Fi. That'll be your LAN connection. And these are just a few buttons. And this one's black. Now the one you get with Vivid Wireless is white. It's pretty much the same. This is a tiny bit different. So I'm not sure if this is a later model or an older model. Um, sadly it doesn't say when this was made. So I can't really tell you guys that. But now we'll get back to the telephone port. If you want to use this telephone port, Spintel actually allows you. So with their plan, you have to order it on their website. Uh, they will allow you to have unlimited national calls with MBN um, calls. Well, it's a little adapter it plugs in, I'm pretty sure. I don't know too much about that, but you can do that if you want. So that's that. So if you want to make calls on this, like you can have a telephone connected, um, you can do that through Spintel. But I'm not sure of any other providers. You'd have to give it a bit of a search on what providers. So basically, if you want to know what um, sort of providers you can get with this, it's called Wireless Broadband, not um, Mobile Broadband. It's called wireless broadband. Now, a lot of them have limitations with, you can only get 15 megabits per second, no more. And sometimes, problem with that, it normally ends up being maybe five megabits, maybe one megabit, it's very annoying. Um, so, I would try to keep away with that. If you don't really care about the internet speed, that's okay, but sometimes it cannot be used because of how slow it is. Um, so, I would, as I said before, just stick with a normal mobile broadband SIM. So now we're going to set it up and um, then we'll show you what to do then. Now to insert the SIM, I'll just quickly show you. You just click it in like this. Now see that's the wrong way. See these can sometimes be a bit confusing. They're pretty easy to um, do when you've done it. So I think it's this way. There you go. And then just click the cover back on. There with me, I'm just doing it with one hand, which can be a bit tricky. There you go, that's that. And now we're going to um, boot it up and show you what all the lights do. So now we're just gonna quickly plug in the AC, which is right here, and we will see how long that'll take. And then we'll do a speed test on my Mac. So as you see, all the lights are up, right there. So yes, this is in fact the um, signal. Oh, that's gonna have to focus. There with that. Okay. I just see it's lighting up. The camera's gone a bit out of focus. Let me just. And now it's all boot up. Now, as you can see here, there's only two bars. This could be the fact of where I've got this. There's a brick wall right there. And on the other side, there's another brick wall. wall. And down there's a brick wall. And just over on that side, and towards the west, is going to be a glass window. That means it's not going to get the best signal right here. But we'll go get the Mac and we'll see what we can get the speeds up to. I'm guessing maybe 3 megabits per second because I know when I have the little mobile um, router where there's a brick wall, you get about 3 megabits per second. But when I put it on top of a speaker right near a window, I got incredible speeds up to 35 megabits to 60 megabits per second and the upload of 10 megabits, which is even better. So we'll just quickly go get the Mac and see what we can get the speed up to. So now we're going to do the speed test. Now it is, I have moved it a bit, as you see it's not here. That's because the Mac will take up all the space and we'll probably get no bars because the Mac will block the signal. So we've moved it to where a brick wall is. Now it is brick. Um, only reason I put it there, even though wireless signal can't travel, there's a closer mobile tower just east of that. Um, having it on the west is going to cause a bit of issues as there is a mobile tower five kilometers away. That one is only 1.2 kilometers away. So we're going to stick with that one over there. So we'll do a speed test and see what the um, speed is. Now, as I, I don't know if I said, but I'm pretty sure at the moment what I'm looking at, it is two bars. Now, we'll see what we can get for two bars. So we're not getting too much there, two bars. We'll do another speed test just to confirm. So we're starting to jump up now. 
Okay, we've got 8.24 and the upload is not too good. So eight, eight megabits per second is pretty good anyway. Um, if you're we're using Netflix or anything like that, this will definitely support it if it stays at eight megabits per second. So we'll just do that one more time. And we'll see what we have. Okay, there seems to be an issue there. So you, if you want the top speed, have it near a window um, and that would probably be, could also get an antenna which I would highly recommend, getting an antenna for it would be definitely a good idea. Okay so that's basically done, we know we're not going to get any higher than that, so we'll just exit out. And now if you want to access the router and just muck around for a couple of settings, we'll just show you what web page you're going to see. So you want to go to Safari, you don't have to, but you're going to want to put 192.168.0.1. So when you do that, it's going to ask you to create a username and a password, and then you'll be all set up. And that's the, um, that's the Huawei 4G router. So hopefully you liked the video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and hopefully we see you guys in the next video. Alright, ciao for now. Hi guys, I've just updated the modem, and it's now, it was at 3 megabits, I have not moved the router at all, and now it's running 12.6 megabits, so we're going to do another um, scan just to prove to you that as soon as you do this update, it does run actually quite fast. And now I am connected to the Wi-Fi right there. As you see, I'm not connected to an MBN network or anything like that. Um, so we'll just click over and let's do it. And let's see if we get it before. So now it's running 12 megabits per second, which that's incredibly great. So we got 12.5 and for upload we'll probably get about 3. Let's take a look. Okay, we've got 1.6. Now, that's incredible. So as soon as you update it, um, you get quite high speeds. Now, obviously if you move this away from a brick wall, you're going to get amazing speeds. So I just wanted to update you guys. As soon as you do the software update, it actually runs a lot faster. All right, guys, we'll catch you guys next time. Hold it right there before you go think about subscribing and liking the video. And thanks again for watching Down Under.